Body forward, dropping the leg, dominating me. The prey, and biting forward into the grip. They must give you a negative, you say good. If they want to continue searching for it there, you say uh uh, bring them back. They must always come back to the outer where they can last confirm. bond between, between the dog and the handler or ranger or the trainer is extremely important. You cannot simply just give a dog to someone and give them a, a command to, to search or to track or to bite. Uh, many of them will still do it because the drive and the motivation is there and the, and the training is in place. But you see a completely different dog when there is uh, a connection between the handler and the dog and his willingness to please because they are a team. Rangers spend, spend hours with us, we train every single day and you can see that the difference in the work ethic from the dogs from day one when they just meet and the dog is just doing what he's doing because he knows the routine and he knows the system and he enjoys um, let's say be it hunting for detection or, or tracking but once that bond is solidified and you can see the enjoyment in the reward and the bond between the, the, the handler and dog team uh, the work ethic just goes up tenfold and it's, it's beautiful to see as well. I'm uh, Christian Fisser and I'm co-owner of Kilo 9 Kennels together with my partner Simon Trotsky. We train working dogs and rangers in the Greater Kruger National Park area for conservation purposes for all disciplines, tracking, protection and substance detection. Tracking of course extremely important. We need to track uh, poachers or suspects coming in in the reserves. The substance detection um, used for by the dogs to to sniff out basically any odor we can imprint them on, be it firearms, rhino on pangolin, um, it can be money, it can be drugs, almost any substance you can imagine we can imprint the dogs on and they are used then to search vehicles, um, search um, houses, open areas, where, wherever the case may be. The protection aspect of course to protect the rangers if there's an immediate threat on them the dog can can protect them by means of biting the a suspect and then very important is the non-lethal apprehension of a fleeing suspect um, we make use of of working line um, belgian malinois german shepherds and dutch shepherds these guys are capable of doing pretty much anything uh, you set them out to do if the motivation is there and the right uh, training techniques are used, they simply love their job and we just harness that natural drive in them to want to perform and, and complete tasks and yeah that's why we use that specific the specific breeds but many breeds are, are, are used for different uh, applications you've got hounds that naturally track extremely well uh, your shepherds are just general very versatile dogs with uh, with strong nerves and uh, a high drive to work so they are kind of multi multi-purpose dogs via tracking detection protection uh, it's a very versatile breed so that's why we, we focus on them we look at the dogs and we see what they enjoy doing most and then harness that 
and to give them the best uh, workability in those disciplines. Uh, now, having a dog, as I've been a ranger for a good seven, eight years, and I didn't always have a dog, but since since going out operationally with my with my personal working dog, it it changes your entire patrol plan, the way you look at things, the way you what you plan doing this day. Um, it opened up new options, and it keeps you awake. The presence of the dog there, um, it's a morale booster for everyone in the team. And um, oh, it's, it's, it's had a massive impact on my uh, personal experience as a ranger and, and sharing everything with my dog, walking with him in the bush, walking with Big Five, um, spending time on foot. When, we, when I'm tired, he's tired. When I'm uh, working late nights, right through the night, he's right there with me um, on observation posts, you know, sitting in, in, in the bush, just listening for, for gunshots, for example, and having your boy with you. Um, that, that bond and spending time hours and hours and hours together uh, with no one around you, with no, with no media, no cell phones and, and, and aimlessly scrolling, just you and your dog together experiencing the same thing. Um, for me it changed, changed a lot and um, yeah, I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I feel empty going on a patrol now without, without a dog with me. Yeah boys. Great guys, if you enjoyed that uh, little video, please hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of the same kind. Enjoy the day guys, heads up from the low felt in the African bush.